everyone! Welcome to a special video where we will today reveal winners of the T-Rex competition. This guy, yes! We did a competition on our Discord, like an art competition, and you draw like uh, T-Rex and you would end up, you know, we'd, we'd pick a winner, and the winner would win a free T-Rex plushie. So in this video, we're gonna be going over all the entries that made it through to the final round. And then, at the very end of the video, we'll reveal who really is going to win or walk away with this amazing T-Rex plushie. Let's go. Yeah, you stay there. This, this, this could work. No, it can't, okay. We have the Badger Motion. Or we'll name the Badger Motion. Yes, that one. Uh, so, love the colors. I love that you put toast in there as well. I guess because they're sort of, you know. I mean, were they in the same video? Yeah, they were in the same video when we did the promotion. That's right. So, you know, we're, we're getting, like, we're building like a cannon here. And I, I love the colors. You've got to get the, the, the Gaming Beaver colors. And next, we have a cap. <laughs> I remember going over and seeing this name and going, yeah, we can't really say that. But it's done a lovely uh, sketch here. Like, a, I think it's like a pencil sketch. You've got like the Game Beaver logo. I quite like that it's like a Halloween sort of setting, or it seems to be a sort of like a Batman symbol in the sky. And you've got Toast dressing up as T-Rex and T-Rex dressing up as Toast. I like it. Very good. Very good. Next one is a Bubba the Berry, where you got T Rex Cafe. You got me, T Rex, and I like how Toast is very small. <laughs> but also, oh, wait, no, it's in the oh. it's in the background. I get it now. And you've got uh, Toast who <laughs> just put the toast into the tea. And this, this classic, love it. This thing here, I put in. I think every funny montage, I always, I always snuck it in, uh, in every logo, it's either like really opaque or something, but very good, I love the style of it too. Ah, next one, this is lovely, Alfie Cat Meow, where you've got a tea party, you've got T-Rex, who's, who's the head of the table, Toast, who seems to not be able to reach uh, the tea, which is quite interesting, because T-Rex can, even though T-Rex really don't have uh, great arms for it, but like a semantics. And then we've got like a compy. We've got, we got a beaver, of course, who's in a little cushion. And then you've got this guy. I don't know what this one is. This is like a, his own character, but I like it. Maybe, maybe if we, if I keep on doing YouTube long enough, we can have a whole roster of characters. Then we'll do storybooks and then I'll retire on the royalties. <laughs> Next, we have Bold Vish, uh, who's done a lovely uh, pencil sketch. A lot of these notepads, it was quite hard because some people... Um, you know, to, to really rate these because some people did pencil sketches, some people did uh, lo loads of different mediums like Photoshop and stuff. Um, and all really good and all take a lot of time and effort. But I'm assuming we've got like a little Baba T-Rex and then like Mummy T-Rex who's like, what do you do? I love that there's like, a, you can see like the, the rubbed out sort of thing of where the head originally was or it was like a different sketch or something they decided to go with like just there, which is really cool. I fancy! Love it, give me that tea. I'm assuming this is me. I have no face stuff. <laughs> and you got the tea. It's even done like the pattern on the bottom of the tea, except for it's all over the tea. And I love these giant fangs as well. You've got this. You've, I'm assuming that's like the T-Rex plushie because it looks like you. At least the eye is very similar. And what, what I love about this is like the charm. Because when I was a kid, I did drawings like this and they, they looked exactly like it. Where you were drawing the colored pencil, you'd see where the old pencil was rubbed out and for some odd reason it wouldn't color in. And I was like, ah! <laughs> so I love this one. Uh, next one, we got Dallo, uh, who's done another tea party. Interesting, there was no sort of preface to do with like this competition. It was just like, oh, just drew, draw T-Rex, like anyway, whatever. We've got loads of people who've done tea parties. This, this looks absolutely amazing. You got Toast going, yum, yum, Toast. And then you got these two other creatures. I don't know what this is like. Is it plates for days? It will be bussing with steaks. <laughs> I don't know what this one is. <laughs> then you've got like a broccoliosaurus. I prefer a broccoli juice. And then you've got, you, are you naked? Because here you're wearing a shirt. Yes, I'm always naked. Have you not noticed? No, I haven't actually. That's weird. Okay. <laughs> so not only does T-Rex have the biggest T, because of course, why wouldn't you? You have one right there. But if you look really closely, there's a gaming beaver logo there. <laughs> toast is toast. And then I love the broccoli just doesn't have anything. But you've got a Triceramasu. Hey, can we get a... Well done. Well done. That was brilliant. I, I love the puns. <laughs> and you got dressed up for the occasion. Although you're, you're falling again. 
You can go back there. Actually, that works out really well. Now I can turn my neck. You, you stay there. Keep an eye on things. I want to judge the competition. Yeah, I know. Well, you can kind of see from there anyway. So next one is Balthazar, who's done... I, I love this. You've got, where's my teacup? I love how, like, rugged this T-Rex looks. It's kind of crazy, but I do like it too. And then the average toast enjoyer going for more of a, a horror theme. This mug is way bigger than the one you've got, so... Maybe that's what happens when your mug gets too big. Next, we have graceful dragons, or gracefully dragons. Ah, there we go. I almost made a mistake. This is lovely. I love the use of, like, the original colors that you've got with the Game Beaver logo. you got the monocle. You don't actually have a monocle. Maybe we'll release an accessory set. You get something for Toast, you get something for T-Rex. And monocle can be yours. And then you've got, like, Toast here as well. You've got, like, the texture on the Toast. And then you've got me, who's just sad. <laughs> the Game Beaver mascot and T-Rex are having a lovely time and then toast came in smashed the tea and then this has happened and it's like it's just like caught in the moment i love it next we have jt whooping a lovely little rest it's, it doesn't have to all be demonic and fighting we can have you know peaceful t-rex you got a little tongue out or is it a tea bean or uh, a coffee bean i was gonna say <laughs> next we have freddy i like this Toast looks so shocked, and I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe it's because T-Rex is giving it a cupcake, I assume that is. You've got a lovely tea, a lovely high tea spread there. Gorgeous. Next, we have the interdasting shinglings. I think interdasting shinglings, yes. Heavily edited thumbnail. <laughs> I don't know if that's your name or if that's just what this is. But you, I love it. You got it. Very smooth. You saw some people with like the huge jaggedy things. This is obviously their style. Very smooth. You got three cups of tea, three slices of cake, milk and another tea. You know, teapot in case you want more tea. Always thought about it. Don't know what this quite says, but I'm assuming it's you copywriting it and signing it like a true artist. Well, I mean, this one goes without any explanation. Dino King LC. I mean, this is definitely the Toast plushie. I'm assuming this is Dino King. And this beautiful piece of art is 100% me. I love it. I like how I'm, I'm being handed the cup of tea. Like, ah, thank you. <laughs> You've done your wonders. Me, I mean, that's just a normal day. Fossil man with T-Rex. I like how this is the, um, the shot for the dinosaur... Uh, show, I think it was. I had that uh, little uh, piece of art commission there. And then you've got T-Rex. <laughs> I like it. You've been, is that even the Game Beaver logo? Or is that just a... It could be. A bit hard to see. But it's holding a very small, probably a realistic size cup of tea, I suppose. Again, love that one. I love that even that profile picture is Toast. They haven't turned coat completely. They're still... They're, they're originally, I mean, it's in their name, Toast. So Toast is obviously their favorite. But, you know, if you're going to enter the competition, you might as well. There we go. And our next one is JV Pack. I've sort of hidden out because I think that was their email address. <laughs> or Javion Pack. Again, I like how we go for either a nice tea party or we go for, like, dinosaur fights. Which, I guess for this channel... Is par for the course, really. I'm quite surprised you even got tea parties. It would normally all be battles. But that's what we should do in Jurassic World Evolution next. We do a tea party. All the dinosaurs get on. It's lovely. But I guess that's kind of like tea break, isn't it? That's what we do when we're live streaming. You haven't caught a live stream. Tea break is normally when all the dinosaurs get on. It's nice and peaceful. Play some nice jazz music. Jeff Golden be proud. This. Oh, this is beautiful. Gabe J203 has done an amazing piece of materials coming out. And you've got, again, the Game Beaver colors. You've got, again, the tea. Even the mug itself is exactly the same mug that you have. And this is, I like this one. This is Osteomazo. Osteomazo? Mazo? Osteo? Ma ma anyway, that one. Maso. <laughs> Where you've got the T-Rex and the Toast. It's a lovely, like where the pencil or the pen has only been used to really show the shadows. It's a lovely style. Toast, you know, they're both getting on in a big cup of tea. Okay, so the next one, we have Pinecone. Yeah, you should probably turn away. Don't look at this one, T-Rex. A terrible scene. I love it. I, lo I love the dramatic stage lighting here. <laughs> and the cartoony face. You got like a tear running down the side of his face as T-Rex cries over a broken cup of tea. Beautiful. Love, love it. I love, I love the whole scene. I love the art style, the shading. It's great. Can't fault that one at all. No, I would fault any of them, but that one specifically. Gorgeous. Yeah, here we go. Paleo Art Paul or Paleo Art Paul. We got T-Rex's Tea Party. And this time we got something different. I mean, every time we got something different. T-Rex, you have a very long tail here. And so does Toast. You got, what, what was that? St oh my God, we got so many like references to old things. You've got these Starbucks. 
Oh my god. You deserve a medal. That's Jurassic Park, Bill. I'm, I'm amazed you remember that. And not only have you got a reference to Jurassic Park, but you got a reference to Jurassic World game with Pecky Eyes, who's like apparently playing the dog here. And then the gaming beaver is the plushie. Oh, it's adorable. Oh my god, we should do a game beaver plushie. Oh. Why haven't I done that before? Next one, Storm, where we've got um, the Gaming Beaver logo plastered upon the bricks or the thigh of a T-Rex, who's so surprised it's actually dropped its mug. Well done, mighty fine job. Now we got Raptor Cat. <laughs> With T-Rex, I don't know if the T-Rex is looking off in the distance or if it's just a derpy look against it. It's so raw, like you can see every stroke of the uh, the pen or... And then you got toast in the distance there. Gorgeous, lovely. And then a large toaster. Mmm, yes. Here we go. Papa, did I die? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> was, that, was this the old mascot from 1991, 2022? Well, we're almost in 2023 now. So I've only got to make it a couple more weeks and I'll be fine, apparently. Uh, and you got the lovely dapper. Yes, again, you're, I, I don't want to know. Are you naked here? Apparently you are. But this time you've got a different mug. This one <gasps> could be part of the accessory set. A hot cocoa, I assume, because it has marshmallows in it. And you're wearing a lovely suit with a dicky bow tie and also a pocket watch and a bracelet and a mustache. Way more dapper than you are now. Yes, we'll definitely get on that accessory set. <laughs> Next, we have a lovely, like, Photoshop one. Kura, that's none of T-Rex's business. Not exactly sure what that's a reference to. But again, a lovely, uh, like, Photoshop version of a lot of, like, the... You can really see, like, the... It would, like, paintbrushes strokes, but obviously it's done with Photoshop. And almost like the uh, the arms look like they've been feathered here, just with the way it's it's uh, it's been done. But glorious. Again, all of these were submitted within a time frame. I think I extended it because I didn't realize how little of a time frame it had given to people. Uh, but the, again, there's, like, the, there's so many levels of different work. It's great to see. Uh, Rashin, this, again, I, I mean, this is probably more of their, like, personal art style, but with the T-Rex sort of spin on it. The T-Rex with their personal art style spin on it. It's almost like a voodoo doll, almost. More, more like a plushie, I suppose. You do have your hat on there. You are naked again. So that's probably more par for the course. Yes. This one, Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great! You got a realistic depiction of Toast and T-Rex, and then you've got me. <laughs> or assume, <laughs> I assume it's me. Very lifelike. That's the word I'm looking for. And then you got like the Toast and T-Rex. That's what I imagine. Like in a kid's head, that's what they see. Yes, it's all realistic and glorious. And they got a little message. Thanks for entertaining us for all these years. Oh, well, you're welcome, Slayer. No one else said thank you. Maybe you'll be the winner. <laughs> Next, we got Storm, yes. Your tea, sir. Pockers. <laughs> you drank it. Tea too good. That's the first time we've seen a, like a comic book version. That's interesting. I wonder why. Am I wearing a mask? This is COVID safe, this one, I think it is. Unless maybe this isn't me. Maybe this is them. Hmm. I assume I don't, I don't have blue eyes, so I'm assuming this is them. But again, very good. I like the little joke. That's great. Oh, this is so good. I love the style of this one. Scribblosaurus Rex. I wonder if it's Subscribosaurus Rex. Ah, there we go. But then I love it. I love it. That's so good. Like the T-Rex there with the Game Beaver logo. Particular emphasis here on the pinky. You're holding your cup of tea and you need to stick pinky. That's fancy. That's what that is gorgeous and then you got tea you got like the teapot there you got like one of tea uh like toasts um emojis as well that oh that looks like one of my thumbnails it looks like a parasol i feel like i've used that in like the Jurassic world evolution 2 campaign i could be wrong maybe subscribe to source rex if you're watching which i hope you are <laughs> then uh yeah i think that, that maybe that's where that's from you got the game beaver logo and then you got the jurassic park logo Gorgeous. Broken tea, teapots everywhere. So maybe that's why I'm like, ugh. <laughs> you guys love it. I love the expressions in these. <laughs> this one's just so real. I love it. But it's like multi, multi-medium there. You got Spina for Forest, the almighty. You got Toast, who's apparently asking for Toast. And T-Rex's like, 
do you, well, you have a mustache there? Maybe you should have had a mustache. Again, accessory set. And then you've got like, obviously, this must be their uh, their table and, and chair that they've got. Something like that. But it looks glorious. I love it. Western. Oh, this is glorious. T-Rex. It's like a, like a poster. I'd imagine, you you know, you could see it in a, in Jurassic World. It's sort of that like low modernism sort of style to it. What does it say? Authentic Jurassic tea. The nation's favorite blended and perfected of over 65 million years. Should we get on that? Should we, should we start a tea brand? <gasps> That'd be so good. Need to get in touch with other people. That's what I need to do. I need contacts. <laughs> Only available at the Game of Beaver Dot Shop. Oh, this is brilliant. I love that. Well done, Weston. And you got some um you got some Japanese of you. I don't understand the kanji, but you're you got go Gohan? Gohan? Oh, breakfast! Ah, that's like because it's breakfast tea. That's the only tea. None of this, like, herbal tea, jasmine tea, breakfast tea, normal tea. That's right, natural tea. <laughs> Again, that is so freaking good. I love this one. Next, oh, <laughs> there's always some good ones. Here. I mean, they're all really good, but some do, some of them crack me up. You got t -saurus. I just love the Why real, the real here? show stealer here is this toast, which, I mean, I don't even know what's going on. It's like a sad pug or something. And you got T-Rex who just... I, I assume T-Rex is sad because there's no tea in, in the mug. Or just contemplating life. Maybe you need to tell me what's going on. <laughs> ah, yeah. I remember Vulcan. They got the Isle symbol. Mm. Like, they've spent such a long time on this one. And it's something that I would imagine myself also drawing. You've got, like, the Spinosaur. But everything is doing this whoosh, you know, to give a sense of, like, action and, and, and feeling. And not only do you have, you know, you've got the T-Rex here, and then you've got Toast here, but you've also, if you look very closely, you've got a Ceratosaurus. It looks very similar to a certain Ceratosaurus that we did a, uh, a competition for a long time ago, an art competition. And then you've got, like, the Game Beaver logo. You might have pecky eyes. You've got, like, the Pachycephalosaurus hitting a tree. So you've got a lot of things going on here. It's, it's it, like, they've spent so long on this, and they've spent so much time drawing it, I'm, I'm assuming. <laughs> because the page, like, the paper is actually curling up. And I remember paper doing that if you, like, like if you spent too much time on it. We were like, no. Maybe it was the paper I had. We had the same paper, yes. Beagle DB! When dinosaurs drink tea. I love that. <laughs> and you got a lovely uh, T-Rex and a toast, which is standing on a box. I assume because T-Rex is bigger, that's why. And I look very good. I'm, I'm sort of giving like the one I wrote, like, mm -hmm, yes, we like tea. <laughs> We're even wearing a tie for the occasion. Oh, very good. Next one is Artcast. Again, more references to old things. Oh, there's another. It was a Speckles. It was Speckles the Ceratosaurus, I think it was. T-Rex, who's... Mm. Mouth watering at that tea that Unicorn Wizard is lifting up. Yes. And you've also got Toast, who's also wanting the tea. And then the game and Beaver logo. I, lo I love how it's done in a sort of style to Jurassic Park. It's a very similar logo. And then, of course, the game and Beaver colors, which is sort of like burning the page. It's really cool. Next, we have Zilla Jr. Oh, look at this. This is so good. You got like people. You got people all over. I don't know what's going on here? You got. Uh, I assume this person screaming it from the mountain, saying, "I love tea." Oh. <laughs> and you got me, who's got like two giant flasks of tea. We've been to Mount Teedom, I think. Friendly Boomface. Oh, this is interesting. We got T Rex. We got Toast, who's very, very small bit of toast. T Rex is sort of inquisitive and toast is like back up from my toast. And you got also invited to the tea party. You got Therizinosaurus, who seems to be very disappointed with the size of cutlery, and so would I. <laughs> it's incredibly tiny. And then you got just Quetta, who is gonna eat the whole thing. <coughs> hey, I think this might be the only one. This is who is a bread machine man. Is the only one. <laughs> So I put put the uh, the beautiful assistant in. It's like is this is this like old versus new? Possibly, yeah. You got like toast. <laughs> Sorry, T Rex. It was ginormous spaghetti arms. I feel like this was done in like vectors or something. With the way the shapes are, like wasn't drawn. Like the shapes were made. Like you you had. A square, started with a square and then added points and then manipulated it to make it. Uh, that's what it seems like, anyway. And then Dio Taran, yeah, look at this. This is glorious. This toast looks like a, a render that's been in, like, the Jurassic World franchise and then they put toast on top of it. It looks so good. But the T-Rex, 
I don't recognize. I don't think that's a render that's been from Jurassic World. But I would spend ages. I remember, like, trying to draw dinosaurs and stuff when I was a kid. I never could get it right. Like, this. you got, like, the veins on there and it looks legit. And even, like, the hips and stuff like that. You really get a sense of how, like, big that thigh is. Like, with the way you got some shading on the side there and it's lighter here with the way the curves are as well. Like, it's wrapping around. Really good. I could never do anything like that. I just stuck to, like, to making cartoons. <laughs> and then becoming a YouTuber. Next, we have Mutant Stacy, who's also got another little teapot. Except for this time, it's not realistic. <laughs> It's the plushies. I love it's like in the stone age. You got like stones here. And then the toast like, ah! <laughs> and you got a flower on the T-Rex's hat. Not exactly too sure what's going on with this guy. It looks very similar to like Chomper, like that square head. Maybe that's like, maybe that's Mutant Stacy. I don't know. But it's got a little bow on it. And it's trying to, to reach the tear. But it's not quite getting there. T-Rex doesn't have a problem. Or toast. Toast doesn't care. Toast wants toast. <laughs> My Asora Sungi Kuni! My T! Oh, we got picky eyes as well! It's like, what the heck? <laughs> and Toast even wants it saying, mine! Beautiful! Unless there's, <gasps> unless there's toast inside the tea. I think there might be. That's like a little bit of toast. And then we got the gaming bird watching. They've had so much fun with the brushes. Like that's like the grass brush in Photoshop. Peggy Eyes, who's actually helping because they look like tea something. I'm not exactly too sure what those are. But then you got speckles and then you got Becky, the Struthia of Mimus. Yeah, the first time with Becky. And then toast. And then a compy, and even the cutlery of the toast, even the kettle, has the same as this one does. Well done. And then a monocle, because, mmm, gonna have a monocle with the T-Rex. The one blue wind here, with a lovely, like, marker pen, like, plushie. You got a shipping too. Totally not tea or toast. <laughs> and then you've got, like, toast in the background, like, it's not for you, or is it? Mm. <laughs> and the final entry is... Oh, it, you know, move, give, give him a hand. It is exciting. He's in here out of pity, you know. He's not as good as the rest. <laughs> Making a beautiful, like, advert for T-Rex. As good as, as it... Making a beautiful advert for T-Rex. As good as it was 66 million years ago. It's too fancy exciting. I can't read it. I wonder what happens if I scan that barcode, though. Is it, <laughs> like, where does that take me? But it's beautiful. What can I say? It's exciting. He does amazing thumbnails. If you haven't seen the Raft series, like me and him play through that. And all of the thumbnails for it, except for, like, the, the original Raft I played, like, five years ago, were all created by him. He does an amazing job. And the Choo Choo Charles. Everyone said in that video, like in the theory video, where did you get those images from? And with that out of the way, how about we reveal the winner of our T-Rex art competition? And the winner is <gasps> all of them. And you know what? I found it too hard because there's so many different varieties of styles and, and we're talking like different skill levels. It was, you know, it's almost impossible to really compare like any of these to each other and the main thing is they're done with one thing in mind and that's passion and that at the end of the day is all that really matters the fact that anyone has taken time out of their day to even you know draw t-rex and stuff like that is amazing to me like i, I can't even it's just a really cool thing it's something when i was a kid and if i had seen something like this a competition i'd be like oh i'll give it a go but you know it never win because there's so hundreds of thousands the fact that i was like you know what if i have the opportunity to do it everyone wins Everybody gets a T-Rex. And the problem was, actually, we were running really low on these guys. Like, it's pretty much gone. It's gone extinct. Like, all the ones, like, 2,000 have uh, have been sold. So, we, we held, like, a few back just in case, like, for the competition and stuff. And luckily, we had just enough to send them all out. So, I have already had somebody from my uh, Discord server get in touch with uh, everybody who's been showcased in this video. So, if you were curious, like, was that real or not? It is. And we're gonna have the company who makes these get in touch with you via email. So, there's no need to give out personal details to me or anyone on Discord. It gets straight to the company. And they have their own things where they can't hold on to data. So, you don't have to worry about that. Postage is a bit crazy at the moment, so 
don't expect miracles. <laughs> but if you've enjoyed this video, thank you everybody for taking part in this competition. I'm so sorry it took me so long to get around to this. I've just been so busy with so many things that came out around about like November and Christmas time. You know, like Jurassic World Evolution 2, Choo Choo Charles came out and then just trying to, you know, do stuff in Japan. It was kind of a bit crazy, but I'm so glad that I finally got around to do it. Uh, and I just apologize again that it took so long. But anyway, guys, thank you again for taking time out of your day to watch the video and those of you who entered the competition. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.